you guys it is me true from true body intuition and we are back for another cancer collective a quick heads up i do speak through the shuffling on my channel hopefully it doesn't distract you too much from the overall message for any of my newcomers if you guys find that these messages resonate that is so awesome i'm so happy to hear that if they do not, however, don't give up on me just yet. Instead, check out another reading on the channel and see if you can find one that fits your circumstance. If that doesn't help, thank you so much for stopping by and loving life to you all. All the information that you guys need will be listed down below in the description box as well as on the screen for you guys. hope that each and every one of you guys are doing amazingly well. I pray that these messages reach you guys in the best of health and spirits. Let's see. We're going to start with some soul's journey messages. Three cards, spirit. Give me three messages. Three messages for cancer. So we start out with surrender. I can release my need to control. Okay, Cancer. So are you guys having that issue in this time where you're trying to control things? Hmm? Trying to control every little thing that takes place. Growth is next. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. That could be something that you guys are looking into in this time, ways in which to expand your consciousness, your awareness. Maybe you're being drawn to certain things that do expand your consciousness and your awareness. It's kind of giving me, you know, those of you who like uh, getting your information and things like that from YouTube, child. Maybe you're looking up more inspirational videos, more videos that are waking you up on something pertaining to your consciousness. Some of y'all, this could even be going back to school and expanding your consciousness, your awareness of certain things when it comes to furthering your education. Uh, balance is here. So some of you guys could be doing multiple things maybe working on multiple projects, working multiple jobs, and you're needing to find the balance between work and life, honey. Some of y'all could be parents, single parents and things of that nature, and just trying to balance out being a parent and being yourself, okay? What is it that you like? What do you want to do external to maybe being a mother or a father? Maybe you're even trying to, let's say you're in a relationship and trying to figure out, balance out who are you besides a wife or a husband, a father, a mother. Like we have all of these titles, but without all of those things, all of that clutter, what is it that you're needing to balance out within yourself and maybe surrender to that that uh, need to control. We got worry at the bottom. I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Okay? So, whatever you're worried about in this time, Cancer, give it up to the divine. Okay? Spirit is there to take it from you if you're willing to pass it over, the burden. Okay? This is something Spirit is saying. Oh my God, y'all. Let me show you what fell on the floor just now. And this is a whole nother day. I just knocked this card over by accident. Letting go, child. What is it that you need to let go of in this time, Cancer? I'm just saying, it's something. Okay, at the bottom of this deck, we got Pisces. Maybe some of y'all need to let go of a Pisces. Is that what's taking place here? I don't know. But let's get some more <clears throat> advice off of these cards, actually. So surrender says once again, I release, I can release my need to control. You need to understand the distinction between power and control. You have the power of internal control, but very little external control over people or situations. The majority of your external control is through the power of influence. 
you can lead by example okay every soul has its own unique path and it is not your job to dictate it giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go your soul too has a path and you possess the power to control it but you must surrender the illusion that you have control over another. So we have no control over other people, over what they choose to do, how they live their lives. That's something that maybe you're having to learn to balance. That power and that control, okay? Next up, we have growth. Growth reads once again, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. You are constantly being presented with situations that enable you to develop your inner wisdom and assist you in advancing to higher levels of understanding. The lesson is to be aware of these events and recognize them for what they are. To live a mindful life is not only about respecting and honoring those around you, it is also about recognizing every person and circumstance on your path as a teacher. The constant chatter and diversions of life on earth can distract you from the signposts that spirit has left on your path. Take the time to be aware of the bountiful wisdom that has been laid before you. Acknowledge these gifts and take them to heart as you continue your sojourn in this physical dimension. Don't look for opportunities that you think you need. Instead, be receptive to the opportunities that are given, okay? Period. Because sometimes we can get confused on the things that we think we need when it's really a want. Balance is up next. And balance reads, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Balance means bringing a sense of stability and wholeness into every area of your life. Many times when you look at a situation objectively, you will resonate with one side more than the other. Try not to view either as good or bad, but simply recognize that it is. The true nature of the scales of balance is to give both sides of a situation your equitable, objective perspective. It can be difficult to understand the side that you don't relate to, but that is a lesson in itself. What is it about you that prevents you from giving both sides of the coin your non-judgmental assessment? This situation or person has been placed in your path or on your path to teach you that everyone has his or her own unique, authentic life story and you must put yourself in that person's shoes to really understand his or her motivation. Balance is a godly virtue and if it is struck, you will reap the benefits of insight and compassion. Okay, come through. I'm loving these messages today, actually. Let's go ahead and get a little bit more, okay? No need to worry about the things that we can't change. The people that we can't change, their decisions, okay? Everybody has the right to make whatever decisions they choose to make for their life. Even sometimes when those decisions are hurtful to us, that is where that power of surrender comes in that energy of just letting go sometimes we think we need closure do we really need closure or is that just a figment of your imagination that you need something some sort of closure to be able to let go of a circumstance a lot of times <clears throat> closure just means we want to talk to someone one last time but if you were to talk to them one last time, what would be said? What would change whatever has been done? What could they say to change anything that has already taken place? Sometimes that need for closure is also a desire to hold on rather than surrender and release control. Go into this surrender, actually. 
So we got the Ace of Wands coming out on this row. Let's clarify. related to prosperity, someone's loyalty to you, that's where that energy of surrender comes in at. This Queen of Pentacles energy represents wealth, luxury, okay, mothering, being very organized. This could be you being a businesswoman and or a homemaker. This Five of Wands behind the scenes could just simply be your energy. It could be you going through some sort of internal turmoil, right? Feeling some sort of confusion. This could be, as I said before, some internal complications going on, stress and anxiety. It's kind of giving me that energy of worry, right? But this could also be some external conflict taking place in your life. It represents arguments, conflict, fighting, disagreements. So maybe you're having some sort of uh, clashing of personalities, clashing of the egos with people around you. Um, and this is another thing that you're having to surrender, right? You choose to be a part of this five of wands or you allow people to do that shit by themselves, basically. It could be some pent up energy, aggression, irritation, frustration. Maybe there's some pent up frustration taking place in you right now. Some, something that's irritating you. Maybe you're, you're dealing with some lack of cooperation in this time. You feel like there's a lack of control. Hmm, okay. Something related to somebody being petty. Okay, just some chaos taking place in this time. Maybe some of you guys are going through some sort of rough time as well because it could also represent like being rough or someone having to be pretty rough in this time. I feel like the thing that's needing to take place if this five of wands is taking place between you and others, you're having to listen to each other. Learn how to cooperate. Learn how to compromise, okay? This could be some sort of uh, defensiveness or someone being very territorial. Maybe even some external competition taking place around you. Let's say this five of wands is taking place between you and others. Most likely, everyone is trying to fight to be heard in this circumstance. And that is where listening is going to be beneficial, right? 
So take a moment to listen to what other people have to say, even if you agree or disagree. The key is to just tune in to what another person has to say, right? Maybe this is how you feel. Maybe you're dealing with people who you feel don't listen to you. Um, they're not allowing you to speak how you feel without that energy of gaslighting, okay? Trying to make you feel like your, your um, anger, your irritation is unwarranted. And even in that regard, sometimes you have to just lay the burden down, which is what I'm seeing at the heart of the spread. And then we've got this tower moment taking place back here in the past as well. So I do feel like you had to surrender some kind of control over a situation that could have come to an ending. You know, the tower could simply represent some kind of turmoil, okay? But with the Ace of Wands being here overall, I do feel like out of this turmoil, out of whatever this chaos, this uh, shake up or break up, there was some sort of new beginning that came out of it. The Ace of Wands is also a yes card. So maybe this is getting turned down, getting uh, denied and things of that nature and then finally receiving that yes. This could also represent someone wanting another opportunity with the Ace of Wands. I see it as a number one, one more chance, okay? And it's definitely associated with fire energy. So Aries, Leo, Sag. And then we got King Dean here at the bottom. So some of y'all could have been connecting with the Aries, Leo, Sag, masculine. Maybe that's a breakup that took place. Or some of you met a new person. And that's what has shaken up your life a little bit. And this new beginning is scaring you. Okay, that's what's causing the conflict. Because you're expecting someone to give you the same type of drama and trouble that you've already experienced uh, in the past. This Ace of Wands could also be like spirit, giving you like that little gentle push, that gentle little nudge to go and pursue your passions, okay? I definitely feel you'll be coming up with lots of creative ideas and thinking outside of the box if you learn to just surrender control, okay? Period, honey. All right, so coming into the present energy, we got the Ten of Cups. Clarified by the Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Now, this is both, well, mostly swords in this suit. So, what are you stressed about? Hmm? What are you worried about in this time? You're stressing over things that you cannot control. Is that it? But finding that harmony with the Ten of Cups to just go with the flow. That is also when you experience that energy of growth. Remember, expanding your consciousness and your awareness is also all about being able to accept things for what they are without trying to control what someone else is, is doing, what they're saying, how they're making you feel. Because we don't realize our power is to simply walk away. The Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords comes in when you're trying to make a, a circumstance that's not comfortable harmonious, okay? you trying to make it work even though everything happening around you is saying that this circumstance could be over. Some of y'all, this tower could have happened in the past, but others of you, you could be still holding on to a circumstance that's just not for you. And you're allowing this to cause a headache in your life because you're trying to turn a situation that's the Ten of Swords into the Ten of Cups. And you can't do that, right? That's where that energy of surrender takes place, comes in at. As well as that's whenever you're going to receive the most growth in your life. Allowing yourself to surrender to things shows your growth, right? When you are... Um, some of you, this Ten of Swords is an ending, so maybe this ending has already occurred. And now you're stressed about some kind of new beginning. And Spirit is like, why are you turning everything into a stressful situation in your mind, sis, bro? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that? Spirit has given you a new beginning, and now here you are worried that something's going to happen with that. Worried that you're not going to be able to control. Worried that you can't 
uh, I don't know, come up with a solution even. That's what I get off the of Ten of Swords sometimes. It's having all of these different things that you see as obstacles in your mind, clutter in your mind, without being able to see the solution. And the reason that you're unable to see the solution is because you're not willing to just drop the burden of the anxiety, the burden of overthinking. Sometimes you have to just stop trying to figure it out and allow the answers to come, right? Look what's at the bottom. Going with the flow. Child, I can't make it up. Some of y'all, this is someone who has taken you through a lot of shit. Okay, you've gone through a lot. Pain, suffering, people betraying you in the worst kind of way. And so now you have these harmonious connections coming in with the Ten of Cups. And it's stressing you the hell out because you're trying to figure out everybody's next move, child. When you yourself are needing to move on from something from your past in your mind. Okay, that's what you're needing to do. You're worried about what someone is going to do, what someone could do to hurt you, rather than just going with the flow. Because even if you sit and try to figure out every little thing that someone could do, every little lie they could tell, um, the ways that they could stab you in the back, you still aren't going to be able to control it. You still not going to be able to change whatever they have in their mind. So you might as well just go with the flow. Don't even worry yourself. Don't stress yourself out about what could happen. Until what could happen happens, why stress over it? Even when what could happen happens, there's no need to stress over it. Because at that time, you still have the power within yourself to simply walk away. I say a lot of the reasons why we get so afraid of what someone could do is because we know that sometimes we don't take that power that we have and use it. Instead, we cling to circumstances that are unhealthy because we don't really know how to separate ourselves. So if you are afraid of someone's expiration date, that is what keeps you afraid that they're going to hurt you and do something to where the relationship will come to an end. But if you're not afraid of someone's expiration date in your life and you're willing to just go with the flow, you know, the time that we spent together was good and now that time is over and it is what it is. Chuck up the deuces and keep it pushing. When you're in that type of vibration, you're never afraid of someone coming in because you're not afraid of them leaving. You're not afraid of their exit, okay? Some of you guys, I feel like there are still some wounds. This worry shows that there are still certain wounds within you that are needing healing. Needing your love, your undivided attention to yourself. But what you're doing is putting too much of your attention on someone external to you. And that's what's causing the burden in the mind, Ten of Wands. But all you got to do is lay it down. Learn how to balance out paying attention to yourself and being attentive to others. You don't have to overgive of your attention to someone else and then neglect yourself that becomes a burden in itself this is what you're having to move on from some of y'all are needing to move on from this anxiety in your mind it's creating a lot of stress in the body i'm feeling stress in my shoulders right now so some of you guys could be feeling stress in your shoulders Maybe this is headaches, back pain. You're holding your stress in your body. And this is what you're needed to release in this time. All right, we cut out really quick. But it's all about balance in this time. Cancer, two of pentacles. And know that no matter what comes your way, honey, you have the power to balance it all. Some of y'all have been through the worst kind of shit with the tower and the ten of swords and you came out of it. So why are you letting little small things that come up that arise, small complications, 
small diversions, okay, in your mind, come up and make you start feeling defeated again, make you start worrying that, oh my God, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? You know what just came to mind? It could be as simple as, let's say you lost a job, okay, and so therefore losing this job made it very difficult for you to do things like manage your responsibilities, bills, and things of that nature, right? But yet, Spirit made a way for everything to get taken care of. No matter how much worry, no matter how much stress, no matter how much overthinking, no matter how much internal chaos was uh, accruing in your life because you were overthinking the circumstance, everything worked out fine and now you have a job, right? And now your worry is what happens if you lose the job? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough gas money to get to work tomorrow. So you're stressing in your mind about that. Oh, how am I going to get? Okay, now I got the job, but how am I going to pay for this? How am I going to pay for that when it comes to the things that you need for this job? Let's say, you know, uniforms, shoes, things of that nature. Oh my God, how am I going to do this and that? And it's like, damn, Cancer, if you didn't made it through the worst of the storm, why are you worried about these little nuances here and there? You don't think that spirit is going to make a way? Hmm? Is that what it is? Let's continue and get some clarity on this word. What's going on with this queen of pentacles for my cancers? Going to the Queen of Pentacles. What about King Zing? clarifiers with the two of swords and the queen of swords so i feel like this is you guys needed to make some kind of decision that you feel a little in limbo your damn self now for some of y'all this somebody from y'all past i hate to freaking say it i can't stand when this energy be coming up but i mean why else would you be undecisive or indecisive about maybe I saw earlier when I was shuffling these cards over here, okay, I saw the, the forgiveness card. So, I didn't want to say anything at the time, wanted to make sure, you know, before I try to bring the past back in, well, I'm not bringing the past in, or before I acknowledge the past, somebody is definitely wanting your forgiveness. I feel like this is a desire that somebody has been holding on to, um for quite some time for some of you guys and it's like maybe they've been having issues when it comes to their ego showing up back here as king Dean. but with the ten of swords in the tower somebody is like bro i can't hold this shit in much longer but this is someone who is needing to learn how to surrender surrender to themselves surrender to their own desires okay because they've been holding back for as long as possible some of y'all, this person has gone through some kind of breakup, shake up in their own damn life or ending. And someone is now single here with the nine of pentacles. So maybe this is why someone's wanting to come back or this is saying that you are this nine of pentacles. You start sitting around minding your own damn business, cancer, reading your books, sipping your wine, okay, eating better, glowing. Okay, somebody could have some highlights in this time. You know, we are coming in. Well, we are already into the spring solstice in this time. So, some of y'all are just vibing out, enjoying yourself, okay? Maybe some of y'all are purchasing plants, things of that nature that's 
bringing upliftment to your mood, doing things that you desire. You're living very comfortably, very relaxed. And someone is very stressed the hell out because they're wanting to come in and ask for forgiveness. They're wondering if they can get another opportunity with the Ace of Wands energy. But in the past, I see that they could have been struggling when it comes to surrendering to this desire. Some of y'all, that's why the hangman is here. Maybe this is a Pisces, okay? Because Pisces is the second time I'm seeing Pisces here. But with the present energy, it's like the moon is in the reverse. So someone is wanting to reveal something that has them stressed out. So maybe someone wants to reveal some kind of truth here. The Ace of Swords is clarifying the overall energy. Someone wants to reveal the truth about a third party situation, about a breakup, about an ending. They want to maybe pick up some kind of communication if this breakup or this silence is uh, signifying the fact that you're not in communication with this person. This is what has someone stressed out, has someone very worried in this time. Maybe that's where this internal conflict is coming from if this is external to you, okay? The page of pentacles is in the current energy. Like someone is wanting to come in and give some kind of effort so that they can receive this ten of cups energy, okay? This ultimate happiness and bliss, but... They don't have to come in in an energy more than that damn page of pentacles. That's for damn sure. Maybe that's what's got this person worried. They know that this page of pentacles shit is not going to cut it. It ain't going to fly. Okay? And they know this. Some of y'all, this is a Libra that we talking about here. But they already know that this penny pension, this page of pentacles, it's not going to fly. And that's what's causing someone to worry. Maybe somebody feels like they don't know how to give more than the damn page of pencils. Somebody is um, feeling like, I feel like the fear here is, you know how sometimes people can be in relationships, situationships with people who just accept the fact that they immature as fuck? Okay, they do things and they know, oh, this person ain't going nowhere, so I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to stay in this immature energy forever. And they tend to stay in those circumstances simply because they know that their immaturity level is acceptable in this circumstance, right? But when it comes to some people, everybody knows who they can try. Some of y'all could be seeing 777 in this time. Maybe somebody's birthday is July 7th, okay? Somebody knows that, like I said, you know who you can pull certain things with and who you cannot. And maybe someone felt like at one point in time, well, they know that this penny pension, this immaturity is not going to fly in a relationship with you. They tried it. They could have gotten along, gotten away with this energy for some time until maybe you woke up, Cancer, your damn self out of some kind of slumber. And you put an end to this situation. No more Ten of Cups for this person. Now this person is like, I'm going to have to grow my ass up. The growth card, right? I'm going to have to mature if I think that Cancer is going to give me another chance. If cancer gives me another chance, am I even ready for this type of responsibility? This is definitely your king dingling. He came out twice, okay, back here in the past, and now step into you in the energy coming towards you. I feel like this person, maybe this person was juggling, okay, two of pentacles. Maybe this is what has been behind them. And now they're saying they moved the hell on and they are ready to be mature. The emperor is here, child. So here this person is releasing the burden of their ego. Learning how to balance, oh, learning how to balance their ego with just being this emperor. Being a man about it, being a woman about it, whatever, okay? And they're moving towards you. 
with an apology page of cups. Okay? Now, that's for some of y'all. Because this person is wanting to reciprocate your efforts now. Now, it's like someone wants a relationship here, Cancer. They trying to step to the queen, child. And that could be... I don't know, maybe this is a circumstance where you're going to have to be willing to hear this person out and vice versa with this five of wands. We talked about that. Everybody wants to be heard and just learning how to listen. Under the five of wands, child, the ace of swords, this is some communication for sure coming your way. Now, the other way that I'm seeing this is you guys are connecting with someone new. And you're indecisive because you're afraid, as I was talking about before, of what somebody could do. Because you keep reminiscing or meditating on what has already happened before. And keep in mind that reminiscing energy, that meditating on the past can definitely um, manifest it in the future or in the present moment. This is why you're needing to find some kind of calm, relaxation within your mind to accept the things that you cannot change, honey. Change what you can, but whatever you can't change, just accept it for what it is. Some of y'all are fearful over the unknown. You are, you're afraid that something isn't going to work out, something that you're not going to have enough, maybe even. Remember the, the whole, I lost a job and now I have a job and how am I going to get to this job? How am I going to afford to get what I need for this job, all of the supplies for this job? And it's like, spirit is like, well, damn, did I not bring you out of this tower? Did I not put an end to this shakeup, this, this trauma? traumatic experience ten of swords and the tower in the past you held on and you saw this through and now you got this new opportunity with the ace of swords because you even learned how to surrender your energy surrender what you can't control or surrender to the things that you cannot control and you came out of the circumstance on top with the ace of wands now here's this worry again, Ten of Swords. But I see escalation, which is a good thing because we go from the Nine of Swords, not being able to see in the dark, to the Ten of Swords. Like, I give it up to the Divine. That's where the peace is coming from. Because there's no need to sit around and think about all the murky little damn things that could be taking place or what someone could be doing, the secrets they could be hiding. This is you just saying, you know what, if, this per if somebody is hiding something, that shit will be revealed to you in time. It's no need to sit around and stress over what could be happening in the dark. This is what's going to bring in more harmony in the present moment. So all you got to do is make small efforts, have the faith, the size of a mustard seed in whatever this connection is. Because some of y'all, this is a connection. Others of you, this is just that harmony within yourself, balance within your emotions, okay? So that you're not sitting around feeling depressed, that five of cups, which is half of the ten of cups, right? Sitting around sad over things of the past, over what somebody has done before. Nobody has time for that in this time. It's about forward movement. And if you have really released the past, which some of y'all have not, you're still holding on to the past. And that's the problem. Now, for those of you who are connecting with someone new and it's a harmonious connection, but you too much in your head to even be able to see it, it proves that you really need to be by yourself. You still got some healing to do. That's the moon revealing to you, exposing the fact that you're not ready for no relationship. You still got some growing to do, okay? Some of y'all fearful, oh, I'm going to be single forever. And that's something that scares you. And until you're willing to face that fear, you're going to keep on connecting yourself to shit that you want to be the Ten of Cups, but it's going to be the Ten of Swords. Because that means you're desperate. 
when you desperate, you attach yourself to any damn thing, to the first thing, to somebody who coming in with the page of pentacles. When, if you willing to face the fear of being alone, nobody says you got to be alone forever, but you got to be willing to face that fear of, I will choose me before I choose a fucked up relationship, okay? And if you can face that fear finally within yourself, that's going to speed you up to meeting someone that is the emperor in your life faster. That's the honest truth. It's a harsh truth even for some of y'all, okay, with this Ace of Swords. Child, we ain't really focused. Okay? You will give and take with any damn body just so you don't have to be single. That's called desperation. And when you do that, you set yourself up for this kind of shit right here. Five of Wands. Feeling like you're not getting enough. Somebody putting you in competition with others. Okay? You got somebody new that's not in this energy. But all you can think about is somebody who did take you through this kind of energy. Somebody who did lie, who did cheat, who did manipulate, who did try to put you in competition with others. And you're measuring this person up, this emperor, to this damn king ding -a -ling. Child, that's not fair. That's not balanced. That's not doing the right thing. And what that's going to do is land you up being by yourself. Okay? Because don't nobody want to deal with that. You wouldn't even want to deal with that. So this is something, it's almost like you kind of got to get a grip over yourself, over your life. Someone, it's like they're coming out with very pure intentions, page of cups. So it's time to release the burden of always expecting the worst. Some of y'all, this hangman energy is because you still have a hard time listening and trusting your own intuition so you don't never know what to do. And you needing to step into the vibration of the Queen of Swords with that hermit energy behind there, okay? Which is the higher perspective. Being able to make judgments and decisions for yourself from a higher perspective. And not always feeling stuck, like, I don't have the answers, I don't know what to do. If you just allow yourself to find the calm, the calm and the quiet and just be patient, the answers will come to you. Some of y'all, I feel like, let's say this is some kind of struggle within business. Well, that struggle is coming to an end because you bossing all the way up the emperor child. And this could just be other people external to you watching you rise above something in your life. And they feel a little bit of jealousy, okay? Maybe they jealous because they forfeited an opportunity to be in your life, to be in your world, to be a part of whatever this luxury, wealth, stability is for yourself, now they wishing that they were still giving and taking with you. Now they wishing, you know, it's like some truth that set in for somebody's ass. And it's like they're looking at you and they like, damn, I should have reciprocated when I had the chance. I should have not given cancer all of this bullshit, okay, when I had the chance. I shouldn't have been hiding my real intentions. Because somebody was trying to mask their intentions, okay? But they ain't understand that you sitting here with Queen of Swords and Hermit level of understanding and trust in the divine. You are allowing your spirit to make decisions and judgments when it comes to individuals. And now they done got put on pause. Now they're blocked to a swords. They have no access to this queen of swords anymore. No more communication. But that's what somebody wants. They want to communicate, child. That don't mean they being authentic, though. Okay? That just means they see an opportunity that they missed out on. And they wish that they would have been a little bit wiser themselves. But you're not going to outsmart spirit. 
You can't outsmart the protection that's around cancer. I feel like this page of cups is also some sort of good news that's coming in. And it's going to kind of put your mind at ease. Okay, shadow work is here. Maybe some of y'all are having some difficulty when it comes to working on your shadow side. You're needing to trust in your intuition. Others of you are trusting in your intuition. Have been trusting in your intuition. And if you fear that something is not working out or won't work out, you're fearing some kind of outcome, a person in your life, if you've been trusting your intuition and it has not led you astray, why are you distrusting in your intuition now? Okay, be grateful for where you are and the things that you have. Be mindful in this time. Somebody is also wanting to come in because you own their mind. And they, they're realizing that they should have showed more gratitude for you before, child. That's what they want to do now. That's why we got this apology here. And I said somebody wanting your forgiveness, okay? I would say if it's someone from the past, just observe, Cancer. All you got to do is watch and observe. Listen. Listen to what's being said, but also listen to what's not being said. Because what's not being said could be more important than what somebody is telling your ass. Just keep that in mind. Okay? But those are you guys' messages. I really hope that these messages brought you some clarity and insight into whatever your circumstance is, my loves. If they did resonate, definitely let your girl know below in the comments. And feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already done so. And I'm going to catch you guys later on in another reading. Until then, take care my cancers.